Metamorphosis. I'm not much in eyes of man and his majesty. Not since my selfish metamorphosis, a butterfly of my own mind and crimes and sanity. My wild-eyed reflection in still water, avoiding plunder, I fly in careful patterns on the deadened lawn of one ever-standing tower. Far more bewitching than bluebeards, far warmer and yet just as sinister as the childhood myth. His king's hand promised to one sister of mine, primped and primed for her to metamorphosize in his right eyes, to become able-bodied in the hands of pompous husbands and devoid opinions. Discarded wishes drifted down onto the moat, as gentle as light itself. I rushed to save them for the day she remembers it shouldn't be this way. The moat was made to make sure we behave. His majesty mistakes me for callow and at his mercy, fawn this way and that, a proper show and shallow. I may appear demure, but I am rather withdrawn, cunning observation with hushed resentment tucked beneath my dress, a clandestine wooden door, solid as commandment for, a wall so certain that surely a butterfly could not make her way, try as she may. My king, don't you know that fate is fate? I was always meant to find out this way, with my gaze settled on the disassembled legs and breasts against my will. His majesty scorns me daily, thanks to my binocular ever-bleeding key. Omniscience cannot be outwitted, so he caught me with ease, his hands far larger than thee, a fool twice metamorphosed placed me above the bed frame, splayed dirty with pinned wings, a symbol for all that is pure and takes torture tame, left alive to behold the feigned tenderness bestowed on his stained bride from up high, like children closely watched by a man in the sky. He knew I'd go too far. He knows what is best for me, you see, don't worry, sister. I'll mourn quietly.